Hello, YouTube family. It's not cute not knowing. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture, and we start off with a hug because you never know who could be going through something. Let's. How are you guys doing? Is it the start of a good week? We got lots of great stuff to talk about. I know we were a little late with the weekend edition, but it is up. If you haven't had a chance, it's the fancy one. Dexter got married, and I'm hoping to like either get him in here or, or do a little thing so he can explain. If you go to my IG page at WDAS Patty, it is loaded with the videos. From the concerts that I do here last night, we had Peebo Bryson, Jeffrey Osborne, and Regina Bell, to Dexter, who got married over the weekend on Friday to his beautiful wife, Fatima. Um, he's doing those magic mic moves. It, it was hysterical. It was like, Dex, you're going to have to explain this video, but they all look like they had a wonderful time, and we'll have all kinds of scoop coming up. Simone Biles is back after dropping out of several competitions in Tokyo. During the Olympics, she's going to be returning to do the balance beams. Rolling Stone magazine, they listed their 100 greatest videos, and I want to know what you think of this. Beyonce's formation, they said, is the number one music video of all time. I thought it would be Thriller. Coming in at number 10 was Michael Jackson's Billie Jean. Coming in at number 3, Madonna's Vogue. There are so many videos, great videos, bad videos, but are you surprised? Beyonce's formation coming in as the number one video. Vice President Harris, I told you guys storm, stories were coming. I told you guys stories were coming. Now a new poll has been released that she is one of the least liked vice presidents since the 70s. I told you all these stories were coming. To kind of boost her image, you're going to be sending uh, Kamala Harris overseas. First stop is Vietnam, and no one has ever, a vice president candidate has ever gone to Vietnam. Former President Barack Obama turned 60 on Wednesday, and he's getting all sorts of criticism about a party that he's having on Martha's Vineyard. This is the part they leave out. Not only do you have to be fully vaccinated, but you still got to take a COVID test and prove that you are COVID free before you come to the party. They don't want gifts. Pearl Jam, I believe, is going to be performing. They don't want gifts. They want to have donations made to Girls Opportunity Alliance and the Brothers Keepers Alliance. So they're raising funds, but they say the former president has got like 500 guests, VIPs, but they keep telling the story and trying to bash them. But talk about the part, y'all, where you got to take your COVID test before you go into the party. Okay, rapper to baby, something else I talked about last week. He is being canceled all over the place. Those homophobic remarks, his half hearted apology, they say, We're going to get you where it hurts your pockets. By, you know, you get a lot of money for these festivals, and he right now is the hottest performer. But his apology was kind of like, mm, don't seem like he's serious. Lollapalooza, the New York Governor's Ball, and various other festivals, the baby is being dropped. Do you think he'll learn his lesson because they're hitting him in his pocket? At the movies, Jungle Cruise took in $62 million. Was it a win? Was it a loss? We're gearing up for Suicide Squad, which is not only going to be in theaters, but on HBO Max, Idris Elba, Marco Robbie, John Cena, Viola Davis. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to, I don't have any more reports to do after this. The kid, Pete Davidson from Saturday Night Live. They're all in it. I'm hearing that it's better than the one that came out in 2016. Storm Reid is in it. They say that Idris is amazing. But will the actors be offended by, okay, y'all got us on HBO Max. Is, is streaming hurting what happens in theaters? The pandemic is not going away anytime soon, so a lot of people still don't feel comfortable about going to a movie theater. Last week, when Scarlett Johansson made the announcement she's suing Disney because they never paid her for the Disney, if you get the Disney premiere, you got to pay 30 extra dollars for the movie. You'll pay 30 extra dollars to see it. It's also in theaters. Well, they're wondering what actress Emma Stone who starred in Cruella, which was so good. That was such a good movie, y'all. Will she, in turn, 
demand more money because it's like, wait a minute, Disney, y'all made all this extra money on my movie. I wasn't cutting on the deal. Will it change? But the big argument in Hollywood right now is, are the streaming services hurting what you see at the box office? I think it's hard to tell because the pandemic obviously is not going away anytime soon. And a lot of people are still very afraid to go to theaters. Peppa from Salt and Peppa is being sued for $670,000. Why is she being sued? Non-payment on numerous butt surgeries. Numerous butt surgeries. Apparently, Peppa had a number of, of operations on her butt in 2019. It was too lumpy. It was too hard. It dropped. Peppa is about to get paid because she was in a car accident in 2018, hurt her neck, her back, couldn't work. She's suing Uber. They say she's getting millions because she's going to settle out of court. But they say she's going to get millions. So now all the plastic surgeries that have done work on Peppa are like, show us the money. Show us the money now. So that's going to be interesting how that plays out. Nellie and Chantel Jackson. She's gorgeous. We know Nellie. He was on Dancing with the Stars saying... Oh, you know, she's supporting me, and I'm going to marry her. They were not together. Just finding out that Nellie and Chantel have not been together for three years. She's stunning. She's an actor. She's 37. She wants kids. Nellie has adult children. He don't want no more kids. He ain't want none with Ashanti. He is a man who has made up in his mind, I don't want any kids any more kids because he has adult children but these two have broken up and apparently that whole dancing with the stars thing was a big sham Vivica Fox is coming to Lifetime producing and starring in a movie if you're a watcher of Lifetime movies they love the cheerleading movies they really do the movie entitled um, The Wrong Cheer Captain is also going to star Jack A. Harry. It's about the murder of a teenager and the looking at the team captain of the cheerleaders. It's going to come on Lifetime on August 28th. Singer The Weeknd. He's on the cover of GQ September magazine and he talks about he loves being sober. 31-year-old says he may dibble and dabble in a little weed, but no more hard drugs and he only drinks limited alcohol. Dolly Parton, who wrote the Whitney Houston classic, I'll Always Love You. It was Dolly Parton's song first, but Whitney just made it this huge song. Dolly recently admitted that she didn't take any of the proceeds from that money and she donated it all to services in the black community. There's a new documentary on Whitney Houston coming Wednesday night, 10 o'clock on ABC. Every other week, there seems to be a new documentary on Whitney. Why don't they let her rest? I'll have scoop tomorrow on what exactly this documentary is. Comedian and actress Kathy Griffin has seen better times. She recently revealed she has lung cancer. She never smoked a day in her life. She has to get half of her lung removed. She also admitted to being addicted to pills and that she attempted suicide last year. A lot of people felt that Kathy Griffin went too far in her criticism and jokes about Trump. And it kind of got her canceled. And people just kind of like backed away from her. But Kathy Griffin has been through a terrible, terrible time. There's a new book out about singer Aaliyah. We lost her August 25th, 2001. She was 2001. It was a plane crash in the Bahamas. She was filming her song, Rock the Boat. It was Aaliyah and eight members of her entourage killed in this tragic plane crash. Well, in the book, they're going into detail. What happened? They're saying that Aaliyah didn't want to get on that plane because they were like, look, it's too many of y'all. The plane is too heavy. And Aaliyah was like, I don't want to get on it. They said she was suffering from a headache. They gave her sleeping pills. She was so out of it, they had to carry her on the plane. Well, as soon as the plane went up, the plane crashed down. She was ejected from the plane, body still in the seat and badly burned she would have never made it. Could this plane crash been avoided? We've been mourning Aaliyah ever since that tragic day in August 25th, 2001. And a new author of a book, Aaliyah, Baby Girl, 
or Baby Girl, better known as Leah. That book is coming out this month. Leave a comment. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave a comment. I do go through the comments and so many people are surprised when they see them. It's not cute not knowing. Can we just do a hug again? Because you never know. You never. Come on. You never know what somebody could be going through. That's why I always say, you know, like 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 be kind or or watch your tone. You never know. I do know one thing. Hurt people hurt hurt people. If you're hurt, they pass the hurt down. And it's like when you have to distance yourself from negative people, negative forces, people that just want to suck the life all out of you. And sometimes you just got to remove yourself from that person. Sometimes a hug is good or a fist bump. I know we're going through different times. It's so just a bit, bit, a bit, look at me, fist bump. I worked last night. I worked really late because I had a concert. I'm going to see if I can pull some videos up later so you can see them. But if you go to my IG at WDAS Patty, it is all there from the videos. But it's a Monday after working last night. Not a lot of sleep. But we had to come today because we had a whole lot of scoop to tell you about. It's not cute not knowing. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture.